This is Mission Control Houston. Welcome to today's ISS update for Wednesday, February 15th, 2012. This is a live view inside the space station's flight control room here at the Johnson Space Center. Today's flight director is Ed Van Sys. He is sitting there in the center console. Beside him is today's CAPCOM, the voice up to the Expedition 30 crew. That is Shell Lindgren, an astronaut who has uh, been working with the crew for the last couple of hours as the Expedition astronauts and cosmonauts work through their daily activities. Don Pettit, which you see on the far right-hand side, has been taking a hearing test today. This is part of a routine checkup on the crew members. They all participate in this just to make sure that their uh, health is uh, being maintained and to monitor how their bodies react to being up in space for five or six months. He has also been working on what's called MELFI. This is the minus 80 laboratory freezer up on board the station. This is a series of uh, basically lockers that are held at uh, extremely cold temperatures. Here's a picture of one of them with Pettit uh, working there. Uh, they hold different types of samples and other pieces of uh, experiment hardware uh, that need to be held at a very cold temperature until they can be returned to Earth. He's also been working on the Altea experiment, which takes a look at radiation levels aboard the station, and Pettit has also been working uh, on some training, some routine training uh, in his role as the chief medical officer. Obviously, there's no uh, physicians or uh, flight doctors up on board the station, so the crew has to uh, watch over and maintain their own health. So he'll be uh, taking some training uh, for that role later on this afternoon. Andre Korpers has been working on uh, a system called the Muscle Atrophy Resistive Exercise System, or MARES. This is a chair and a restraint system, much like what you would find uh, in a gym uh, here on Earth that measures and exercises seven different joints to see what happens in space. He is also continuing to clean up the end cone of the Permanent Multipurpose Module, or the PMM, which is basically a, uh, a large storage closet on board the International Space Station. Uh, there's quite a bit of cargo inside of it, so he has been doing some inventory and uh, moving some things around to uh, make sure that everything is uh, where it needs to be. He is also continuing some work today on the NeuroSpat experiment. He, uh, he worked on this yesterday as well. Uh, this looks at how the brain's signals change and uh, behave in space. You see him working on it there. It tests perception, attention, memorization, decision, and action through different tasks, as you see him doing there. Ole Kononenko and Anton Shekaplarov getting ready for tomorrow's activities. They're going to be doing a uh, spacewalk out of the Russian segment of the International Space Station. Today they reviewed the uh, procedures for tomorrow and inspected the pier's docking compartment to make sure that all of the tools and equipment are positioned and ready to go. There you see the task list. That first one, the relocation of the Strela boom, Strela number one, uh, that is going to take up the majority uh, of tomorrow's timeline. The spacewalk is due to take about six hours. Uh, that'll take about half of the time. And then uh, in the remaining time, they'll be installing some debris shields on the outside of the Russian segment. And if time allows, they're going to take uh, care of some experiment work on the outside of the station as well. Our live coverage will begin tomorrow at 7.45 a.m. Central Time, 8.45 a.m. Eastern Time, and then the spacewalk itself will get kicked off at 8.15 a.m. Central Time, 9.15 a.m. Eastern Time, and again, it'll run about six hours. Meanwhile, Anatoly Ivanishin has been doing some routine maintenance inside the Russian segment of the station. He is continuing that work as we speak right now. And then the other major task for today involves Dan Burbank, the commander of Expedition 30. He is continuing the checkout operations of Robonaut, the robot that's on board the station. This is a live view. Uh, this work started yesterday to make sure that Robonaut's joints and uh, arms and hands and fingers are working as expected. Uh, some of that activity has spilled over into today. Uh, so Dan Burbank is in the process right now of watching over Robonaut. Looks like something out of a science fiction movie, uh, but this, this is reality as Robonaut checks out uh, his hands and his fingers. Uh, there was a handshake scheduled for yesterday between Robonaut and Burbank, which is a, a very large milestone for not only uh, the uh, crew, the Expedition 30 crew, but also the ground teams here in Houston that have worked on Robonaut. Uh, over the months and years as the uh, first handshake between a robot and a human takes place. Uh, that did not happen yesterday, but it is due to happen today. So we will continue to monitor this during our broadcast hour today. Uh, of course, for all the latest, if that does not happen today, you can follow along and see the video of it on NASA.gov.